I want to convince you that you can approximate the future. And to do that, for those of you that don't know, in quantum physics there's a long history of cats being involved. And the cats are always threatened but never harmed. And in that spirit today I'm going to use cats to conduct my experiments for me. <clears throat> and so I place a cat and I give the cat a ball and I ask the cat to throw the ball up against the wall. And then I ask the audience, that's you, to make a prediction of what exactly is going to happen. And this isn't a prediction you have to make out loud. You can keep it to yourself. And what you're going to do when that cat throws the ball is you're going to think, well, the ball does not have enough energy to penetrate the wall, and therefore the ball bounces back at the cat, which is exactly what it does. But the point's not that. The point is that we correctly approximated the future event. And, and we can use physics to make much better predictions of the future. And in fact, I'll show you next that when we replace that ball with a quantum particle, an atom or a molecule, that your guessing will no longer predict the future.